This video is about the loss of heat from animals, but first of all, let's think about the loss of heat from my coffee. I've got some coffee in a cup and the same mass of coffee in a saucer. Now, it's quite obvious that the coffee in the saucer is going to cool down much more quickly than the coffee in the cup because the saucer has a much bigger surface area. Right, let's move the coffee out of the way. And now let's think about the animals. Well, I'm going to start by looking at a pair of animals, one that lives in a cold climate and one that lives in a hot climate. So here is my animal in the cold climate. And I'm representing the animals by these wooden blocks. And I've got 18 of them there. Now, the animal in the cold climate is likely to be a big chunky body and um, short chunky legs, like so, and um, a head, of course, one end. There we are, like that. Now, that's my animal that lives in the cold climate. Now, what about an animal in a hot climate? Well, they tend to be a bit thinner, so we'll make the body thinner, and we'll also give it fairly thin spindly legs, like so. And we better give it a head and perhaps some ears. Right. Now, the animal that lives in the cold climate has a mass of 18 units. Now, we're going to take one block as representing one mass unit. So 18 blocks. The animal that lives in the hot climate also has a mass of 18. I made it with the same number of blocks. What about the surface area? That's the front, back and the sides of all the blocks. Well, the animal in the cold climate has a surface area of 58 units, while the animal that lives in the hot climate has a surface area of 66 units. So, the surface area to mass ratio of the animal in the cold climate is 3.2, whereas the surface area to mass ratio of the animal in the hot climate is 3.7. This means that the animal in the hot climate can lose more heat per kilogram than the animal in the cold climate, which is what we'd want. Right, let's move that out of the way. And now let's think about an adult and a child animal. So, here is the adult animal. Now, adults are big, sort of solid, chunky things generally, and um, we'll make that with a big chunky body, like so. But they're actually bigger than their offspring, so we need some more blocks this time. So instead of having 18 blocks, we are going to have 23 blocks. So we've got extra blocks there, like that. And we also need a head and um, ears, probably, for the adult animal. So we'll put that one there, and that one, I think, there. Just check the number of blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23 blocks. So this one is the adult with 23 blocks. Now for the young animal. Well, young animals tend to be smaller, obviously, than their parents. And so the young animal is going to have a thinner body and spindly legs roughly the same shape as its parent, but made with less blocks. So there is the young animal. Don't forget it has to have ears and a front of the head like that. So 
what about this one well the adult has a surface area of 78 units a mass of 23 remember it has 23 blocks the young animal has a surface area of 66 units but a mass of 18 units so the adult has a surface area to mass ratio of 3.4 whereas the young animal has a surface area to mass ratio of 3.7 this means that the younger animal has a greater heat loss per kilogram than its parents.